good evening students today i will continue with the numericals of the equivalent registers here so let's start so suppose there is a registers combination like this so suppose this is connected with 16 volt battery with the internal resistors 1 ohm so this is the internal resistance okay internal resistance okay and we have to compute the equivalent resistance of the uh, network first compute equivalent resistance of the network second question is that we have to obtain the current obtain the current in each register and c is that obtain the voltage drop voltage drop suppose what we say vab vbc and vcd now what is this vab vcd vcd suppose i am giving this point as a this point as b this point as c and this point as d so the voltage drop is v vab is this vbc is this and vcd is this so these are my three questions okay and so this is suppose 4 ohm this is again 4 ohm this is 1 ohm 12 ohm 6 ohm and 1 ohm is the sorry already mentioned there okay so first calculate option a uh, sorry uh, the first one that is we have to calculate the equivalent resistors so by seeing this we easily uh, conclude that here first two resistors the, that is this four and four resistors are in parallel uh, parallel uh, combination so the equivalence equivalence resistance for a and b 1 by r equivalent that will be 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 that will be 2 by 4 if i can just a half of them therefore r equivalent will be 2 of them okay so this is the first in the same way this 12 and 16 ohm register set is uh, uh, in parallel equivalence okay for 12 ohm and 6 ohm the equivalent resistance is 1 by 6 by 1 by 12 okay i am mentioning it at 1 r equivalent 1 1 by r equivalent 2 that is 2 2 plus 1 3 by 12 that will be cancel out that will be 1 by 4 ohm therefore r equivalent 2 will be 4 ohm hopefully it is clear to all now the thing is that if i replace this 2 4 ohm by this 2 ohm there is another 1 ohm and by the, these two resistors that is 12 and 6 ohm is being replaced by 4 ohm so now my circuit will become like this 
instead of this 2 I have replaced by 2 ohm this is already 1 ohm and this is 4 ohm right so this is A, B, C and D so now these 3 are in series combinations right so the net equivalent resistance that is equal to 2 plus 1 plus 4 ohm that will be 7 ohm clear so this is the basically the total equivalent register so a has been computed now coming for the b for b part what it will be the total current total current in the circuit now please be careful here one internal resistance is there we have to consider this as well in the circuit is suppose i let so what is the formula so i equal to e by capital r plus small r where capital is the resistance external resistance and small r is the internal resistance right so therefore E is already provided that is 16 volt now 16 by 7 plus 1 that will be 16 by 8 cancel out that will be 2 ampere ok now we have to calculate the next in uh, so it is the total current now obtain the current in each register. I have to calculate all the currents in each register. So for that condition, consider that through A, B, I1 is going through 4 ohm and I2 is going through this 4 ohm, right? So as these two register is same, Therefore, I can say that I1 equal to I2. Clear? Now, what we consider that total I1 plus I2 as this is in parallel combination. So, this I1, I2, what is I? That is basically 2 ampere. After breaking into branches I1 and I2, when it combines here, it again produces the 2 ampere. Right? So, we can write that I1 plus I2 equal to 2 and I1 equal to I2. So, I1 will be 1 ampere and I2 will be 1 ampere. Okay. Clear hopefully this is. Now, coming to the, so this has been computed for A and B. Right? For A and B for inter intermediate resistance mediate resistance A and B. Now we have to calculate this in between this B and C. Okay. So for B and C so through this uh, through B and C uh, suppose look here 2 ohm, uh, 1 ohm resistance is there. So, 1 ohm resistance is there. In between B and C. Right? So, therefore, the current will be nothing but 2 ampere. Because here 2 ampere is coming from these two part. Okay. Now considering the resistance between C and D. Between C and D. So this again these 2 ampere is being branched like I3. And suppose this is I4. Clear. So, I can 
write I3 into 12, that should be equal to I4 into 6. So from this condition, we can write I4 equal to 2 of I3 and I4 plus I3 is nothing but 2. So this is my first equation, this is the second equation. From here, I can replace 2 minus I3 by putting the value here. What we are getting? 2 minus I3, that is 2 I3. If 2 is come this side, that will be 3 I3 equal to minus 2, minus minus cancel out. So, I3 will be 2 by 3. Therefore, by putting the value of I3 in, by putting the value of I3 in this equation, we are getting 2 into 2 by 3. That will be 4 by 3 ampere. So, this is the second problem done. Now, obtain the voltage drop here. Okay. So, what will be the voltage drop? So, here, look. So, VAB, VAB equal to I1 into 4. That is, oh, sorry, no, not like this. So, what is the equivalent resistance? That is 2 ohm. And what is the current here? 2. So, by applying the ohm's law, that will be 4 volt. VBC, 2 ohm current is going, passing through that by, from the 1 uh, ohm resistance. So, 2 ampere uh, current is passing by 1, amp, 1 ohm resistance. So, there will be the voltage of 2 voltage and 2 uh, VCD. What is the equivalent resistance? That is 4. So, 4 into 2, that will be 8 volt. So, this is the total numerical of this part. Okay. Next, I will discuss another numerical on this equivalent resistance part. So, second problem. Suppose mm, the circuit is like this. this is A, B and this is A. Okay. This is 15 ohm, this is 20 ohm, this is 30 ohm and this is 10 ohm. Now the question is we have to find out the equivalent resistance between A and B. Okay. Now the register 15 ohm is connected in parallel to the wires with zero resistance. Then the voltage drop across this register is 0. In this case, we can redraw this circuit without 15 ohm registers. So, what will be the circuit will be like this. So, we can write or we can draw it like this.
so 11 by 60 ohm so r equivalent will be 60 by 11 ohm right okay so up to this clear okay next i am taking our other circuit And suppose this is 30 ohm, this is 10 ohm, this is 20 ohm, this is 20 ohm. Now to identify the type of connection, we have to uh, redraw this circuit. Okay, so it will be helpful for us. Now look, these 20 and 20 are, have the common point here. If I remove this, so this part will be connected here. So, these 20, 20 as in parallel combinations and this 30 is being connected with this 20 and 10 is being connected with this 10. So, why can redraw it like this? is 30 ohm. Now these two in parallel. So what will be the R equivalent? That is 1 by 10 ohm. So basically R equivalent will be 10 ohm. Right? Clear? So this is done. Now again I am redrawing this. So, instead of this 20, we have to add only a 10 ohm resistance, right? And here another 30 is there already. And the connection is there. Suppose this is 10 volt, 10 volt and 10 volt. This is 30. Now, these two in series combination. So, in general 10 plus 20, that will be 20 ohm. Okay. Now after this, I can redraw it like this. Instead of that 10 and 10, I can make it 20 ohm and this is 30 ohm. And after this 20 and 30, these are in parallel combination. So, 1 by R equivalent will be finally 1 by 20 plus 1 by 30. So, the LCM will be I think 20 and 30. In general, it will be 1 by 12. So, R equivalent will be 12 ohm. So, this is my answer. Okay. So, in this way by reconstructing the circuits, we can capable to find out the equivalent resistance. Okay. So, in the next class, I will uh, uh, start the cell, internal resistance and EMF. Okay. Thank you.